What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up like button for the YouTube algorithm and do not forget to subscribe, man. So we got a new update from the Shiba Inu team, actually the She Metaverse team. So let's check this out real quick. So new concept art revealed, very important when it comes to our understanding of what the Shiba Inu shiba inu metaverse will hold you know we're trying to you know uh determine the level of interest that people will have in it so we can know how hard we want to go in this so let's check this out come and stay a while at the scenic dunes upon gazing beyond you discover an oasis of sorts yet this oasis is like no other it's massive it's shaped and welcomes an adventurous and modern place full of glitzy architecture and cooling waters so uh I think we synced this area actually. It just looks like it's now more of a colored version. So we can see, uh, let's take a closer look if we can. Okay, so now we got those domes that we seen. We could tell that they're like, you know, glass domes. I was telling you all about how uh, we got something like this called the uh, Mitchell Domes. We got three domes in my uh, hometown. So they got like different environments inside them. So one might be like a rainforest, one might be like a desert environment. And one might be like, I don't know, you know, uh, something else, you know, or like a, uh, I know the one where we got, they have like a uh, butterfly exhibit inside of there. So it's like different insects and stuff like there. So it could be environments, different animals. Um, we see some large Dubai like structures here, like the, uh, I believe it's the, I forgot what the name of that building called, but, uh, we can see this is supposed to be, you know, highly modern, you know, uh, really high tech and also like something like a vacation, touristy, you know, uh, attraction type of area. So interesting how they plan on bringing this all together, you know, uh, seeing the size of these buildings. It tells me that there might be something really big going on inside this metaverse because you got to feel these structures. So I'm looking at it from the aspect of terms of monetization. So renting out office space, starting businesses, advertising space, you know, things like that. That's where a lot of the money inside of the metaverse is going to come from. It's not just going to be from buying land and selling it. It's going to be from actually monetizing that uh, property. So uh, this is interesting. Let's take a look at what some of the comments are saying. Buying more bone now. So this person understands. Uh we got to know bone token is one of the main focuses of the sheep dev team so how most of us would like to see you know shiba inu be used as the gas token for shibirium and whatnot we know that that token is going to be bone so we have to put some significance on you know the bone token and realize that that has a high likelihood of seeing some nice gains as well so let's take a look at the chart for bone So Bone is up 5% today, sitting at 68 cent right now. It's an absolute uh, steal. The volume is down 21%. We see, uh, you know, Bone sitting around people buying Bone at 238, you know, well over this dollar range. So to get it right now at 68 cent is you know an absolute steal we can even just see this on the chart we know it goes impulse correction what's next to come the next impulse maybe back to around the 118 level and this is just eyeballing it you know but we know that that's what's likely to happen so uh connect the dots right there let's take a look at sheaves price as well we got the overall crypto market cap up 2.4 percent sitting at 852 billion bitcoin at 16,794 up one right now uh Ethereum at 12.45, trading sideways basically, but down 10% on the week. Bitcoin down 11% on the week. BNB at 18, uh, down 18% for the week, sitting at 276. We know this is still every time I tell y'all, you see BNB under 270. This is not financial advice, but if you don't have any, if you want to add some to your position, that is an absolute steal to do so. I believe BNB will be one of the top coins, and which it is already, but I believe it's gonna go even higher. So. uh xrp 38 uh cent up 10.9 percent on the day nice uh xrp cardano sitting at 33 cent up 2.3 percent today we got doge at 8 cent up almost one percent on a day uh matic at 94 cent up 2.9 percent for the day but still down almost 11 percent on the week and we got dot at five dollars and 95 cent up 2.85 percent for the week down 6.9 percent 
or excuse me, up 2.8% on the day and down 7% for the week. Then we got Seoul at 1422, up 3% on the day and down 42% for the week. And then we got Sheep in number 14, which we keep flipping over Solana. So uh, we could be in number 13 place uh, real soon. They're only about 100, not even 100, about like maybe $70 billion, $70 million ahead of us in market cap. So Sheep at that 9-2 uh, level right now, up 2.3% right now. This is the pullback, y'all. This is the pullback. We constantly see this happen time and time again. You know, it's an attempt, a last ditch effort to shake off the weak hands, to shake those investors off that, you know, aren't diamond hands, to shake those investors off that can't withstand, you know, uh, the, the volatility or, you know, just to get investors more exhausted. So uh, this is usually a good sign for those of us that believe in uh, Shiba Inu. You know, it get, it's a good sign to get the last you know, people who basically just don't deserve the markets feel, you know, they don't deserve to ride with us, you know, and I'm, I'm cool with that. That's just how it has to go. You know, if, if you can't hold on, you know, you don't deserve to get those gains. Now, it's not financial advice. I'm not telling anybody, hold on, do whatever you have to do, do what's best for you. I just believe in the Shiba Inu ecosystem. I understand it. I uh, salute what the dev team is doing. You know, uh, we got Shibirium on the way. That's a major catalyst on the horizon. So I know in my own perspective, I don't have a crystal ball here, so I could be wrong, but I know that Shiba Inu is highly likely to start trading higher as we get closer and closer to that release of Shabir. Now, I believe that's coming before the end of the year. I could be wrong on that again, but we do know it is coming regardless of when it does drop. Team has to make sure things is right, it's secure, you know, uh, and that it has the utility that we need so people want to actually use it. But uh, that's pretty much all we got right now. I got a couple other articles I wanted to get into. You remember, I've been telling y'all Sheep is about to take off. Don't allow these short-term fluctuations to sway your opinion or your emotions on Sheep. We just had something disastrous take place with FTX and uh, Sam Bankman. Uh, that was major. That was a major blow to the crypto space, you know. So we can't predict catalysts like that. If that wasn't taking place, she was already on his way to start, you know, tr uh, trading higher. But that pulled everything back. But it's cool because now we get a chance to load up even more to our positions. For those of us that see where this is going, that know where this is going. Now, don't over leverage yourself. Don't risk yourself. Don't put yourself in a tough situation. Use risk management, you know, uh, but we know what's up, y'all. But that's all we got for this video. Appreciate y'all for pulling up. We are out.